I've already checked the wiring off camera, continuity of the wires, okay, 5 volt supply, okay, ground, okay. Uh, that's not normal, should be showing the atmospheric pressure. You can find loads of YouTube videos showing you what to look for, I'm not going into that here. The map sensor, or manifold air pressure sensor if you want, is dead. Map sensor, that's uh, ashes. reads too low and doesn't send any meaningful signal to the ECM. This makes the car idle very badly, well, even worse than usual. It also gives a nasty hesitation on acceleration, just not really good. Should be for one bar. Not zero, zero, eight. So, and do this. Just change anything. This thing. So I've got my gauge up there, boost gauge. Connect this, the, old, the original one. There. Absolutely nothing. Connect the new one. Straight away, steam. There we go, up to zero. Atmospheric pressure, one bar. It's a two bar above atmospheric pressure, but it shows that uh, it's atmospheric pressure. So, there we go. Oh, bing, bing. So let's go ahead and change it out. On my setup, the map is not used as much for the boost as a more modern aftermarket ECU would need. In fact, the car will pull hard with only the math sensor working mass airflow sensor. Now this car is a low boost setup and the fuel tables on the ECU will compensate into boost without needing a working map. In fact even if the MAF dies as well then the ECU just reverts back to speed density calculations and will still get you a reasonable time slip and will get you home after the race albeit stalling at every single traffic light and junction on the way back, but whatever. Anyway, I need to replace the map sensor. Okay. Job done. Once the replacement is in, I check to see if it's all okay. The old scanner. It's an old tablet. One bar. Yes. Uh, it's working fine. Now I'm going to do take it out on the road. I just need to clear the fault codes and take the car for a drive. But that's for the next video. Nice easy job.